Hey guys, for this episode, I wanted to show you a new mob we added to Spookville. You can see in the background it's night, and that's when the monsters will spawn and start attacking the cabin. But one of the new creatures we've added is a werewolf. <sighs> There's two variations to this werewolf. There's one that will run and chase after you on four legs and attack you with from the ground like a dog. And then there's another one that will be standing up on two legs like a biped and, and chase you around and attack you that way. That being said, let's dive into Unity and take a look at the new enemy type. Okay, so it's not night anymore, but what we are looking at is the four-legged style werewolf. Um, let me go and back him up a little bit because he's got his radius attack or radius that he can spot the player from and hopefully this is far enough back okay so there you can see the werewolf on all four legs and as I get closer he'll start chasing me there he goes he spotted me he's chasing on all four legs so I'm gonna run away and as he gets closer he'll begin attacking me So each swipe really hurts, so you don't want to take too many hits from the werewolf. And he's down. So there's some collision work that still needs to be done. I thought about adding ragdoll so he dies a little bit more realistically. Minor priority unless you guys really want to see that. And uh, while I'm here, I can see a spider off in the distance. Good shot. What do you guys think of the hit markers? Um, they're not not too fancy. Each uh, weapon does different amounts of damage, and so it'd just be interesting to hear if you like the little display of damage that pops up when you hook them. Here you can see the uh, the wooden sword does 40 damage. There you go. And I also did redo the attack animations for the melee uh, sword animations. So, if you noticed those before I said anything, comment below, let me know what you think, um, if you like them. So, what what's also cool is, I haven't gotten to share this off too much, is the player's health and how it creates the damage effect on the screen, on the HUD. Um, there's several controls that uh, control that. Let me open up my user interface and expand that. Here's the blood screen. I just really mess with the opacity when taking damage or healing up and uh, that's actually controlled in the UI by the health bar. So as I gain health, it'll work itself back up to a green status, green meaning healthy, um, and it'll uh, interpolate across the health bar. So let's, let's just modify our health real quick and, and you can see that. So that is on the boy character and the JU health component. Here I can see 250 out of 400. I'll heal up. Bam. There we go. Back up and the blood screen effect kind of disappeared. Now let's take some massive damage. So from 400 to 100. Yeah that's some major damage. It's quite a bit darker. The closer I get to actually dying the brighter it'll be. So yeah, dramatically hurt, and then let's say we get a, a health potion from, from Teddy, and right back up to 400 and green. So the new combat system's a lot of fun, especially with the new animations. There's still some tweaking needing to be done, the new enemy type, um, oh, I haven't shown the, the two-legged one, but it's finally fun to start seeing it behave like a game instead of just a walking simulator. So let me just jump in real quick and turn on the two-legged werewolf. There we go. So there you can see he's he's watching from uh, in front of the house. Um, really, right now he's only interested in the player, so he starts chasing after us. I'll let him catch up, and bam, doing some damage. A couple more hits. All right, that's enough. Oh, yeah, I got him. 
Okay. So we're hurt. We're hurt. I do have health potion drops that will occasionally randomly drop from the enemies. Obviously I need to increase that uh, rate at which they drop. But another way is to make it back to the cabin, stand near the main campfire or bonfire, and uh, heal back up. So I don't have that in place yet, but let's just pretend we do. Third person character, back up to the front. There we go. And this was just a fun little look at the combat system and the health system that we implemented for the boy. Let us know what you think. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.